when you claim your own personal sovereignty, you're choosing to keep your own self-respect and to keep your own self-esteem. And when you do that, um, following another man around like a little bitch does not make sense to you. Why are you starting with the kids? Hey, I'll warn you guys now. If you're going to be inappropriate, I will have supervision down and give all of you a Saturday school for next year. Would you look at this mess? Uh, right. Not to have that shit pushed down my throat, you know what I mean? And who the fuck would they think they are to threaten punishment for me if I reject it? Especially if you're a kid. Maybe you're a kid that can't stand religion or you want to say it's against my religion. Yeah, there's something in this country, even though some of us hate religion. Rejecting a thing because it's against your religion is a good thing. And uh, my combination of beliefs uh, of Christianity and a, that Christianity meets occultism, which I said before, my reason for those beliefs is because uh, you can take the definition of a thing and uh, people who control Wikipedia and want to twist the meaning of things will turn good something a good thing into a bad thing and a bad thing into a good thing and that's what we're dealing with I mean even rebellious people like I was when I was younger realized this and but anyway uh, the yeah, they don't care about anybody's... They, they, the special interest groups, they do this. And they make it a personal freedom. that they, they, they brainwash gangs of people saying that this is a personal freedom that they should be fighting for. The right to follow another man around like a little bitch. The right to uh, dress up like a woman when you're not a woman or whatever the hell. And... Uh, like it's a personal freedom when really if you're one of those people who claims that as a personal freedom and you want to force it down my throat then it turns from me just saying you have an affectional preference if you're gay it turn it will turn into a mental sickness right off the bat and I will regard it as um, trying to normalize your mental sickness and and uh, literally uh, legitimize it and trying to criminalize me for who I am and me and a lot of other people that don't go for that shit guess what uh, what are you gonna do uh, eventually uh, have your dream of I uh, yeah I'm saying this while trying not to laugh pausing because I'm trying not to laugh what are you gonna do do like they're doing in Michigan. Every little thing is offensive and a misgender and get me fined and thrown in a cage. That Yeah, that's the ultimate dream. It's about control. Because if it was about just letting somebody go, oh, right, if they want to identify as a, another gender, leave, leave me alone or be gay, leave me alone, then they wouldn't be doing the shit that they're doing. Uh, it's all by design by uh, government-funded special interest groups and these people and professors that infiltrated the institutions and politics, it's designed as a war on your personal freedom, your sense of self-esteem and self-respect, and they want to illegalize and criminalize those things, twist the rules of the textbooks, rooks, the te uh, excuse me, twist the te textbooks, change the change and edit the textbooks, rewrite the textbooks twist the rules and alter the rules of mental illness, uh, mental health, and uh, insanity. Make, if you identify, you're proud of your own identical, if you're proud of your own biological gender and identify it, proud of identifying is your own, your biological gender, being proud of it, and choosing to keep your self-respect and self-esteem they want to regard it as, oh, you're making somebody else uncomfortable, uh, 
and you're making them feel unsafe, um, which it's like laughable. People take that shit like it's serious, but the rest of us are laughing and they don't want you laughing about it either, Rob. Um, when you see this shit going on and when they're trying to make new laws to attack somebody else's, some other people, when they, to, to attack other people and tell them they're not allowed to care about their own culture or their own personal identity or sovereignty, then literally they become the other Soviet flag. And it turns into the thing where they replaced the sickle and the red sickle and hammer flag with a rainbow flag. You got a new type of communism. And the reason why I am so repetitive about self-respect and self-esteem being associated with sovereign citizen and, and defining it as personal sovereignty as opposed to that Wikipedia definition of sovereign citizen which I made an entire video about why Wikipedia will put that definition and no other definition and why um, my why my belief in um, yeah my beliefs are uh, the combination of beliefs that I have which tell me that um, for every definition of a thing there's a backwards definition of a thing and that's what they're doing they'll put it on they want to erase certain definitions or leave them out and at their convenience if they'll take an identity about your own personal sovereignty and want to criminalize them that's why they put that definition of sovereign citizen on Wikipedia and of course you're not denying that Yes, that particular definition is true, and there are people and criminal element that are like that shit. But notice that they only define that shit, and I made that case uh, long ago that they'll literally redefine and dirty up a name, and what the fuck are you going to do? Change the name! so that you can be separate from that bullshit. That's how they play it too. If you were to change the name, what you identify is to uh, resist the bullshit, they get wise to it and they'll just put another uh, definition on Wikipedia. But anyway, uh, that's a little rambling, but yet it's relevant. Yeah, it's all about the, su the subversion. The subversion. Yeah, one of the key words here is subversion and erosion, the, the, the deliberate erosion and subversion of a country and other people's cultures and creating their progressive utopian society and culture, which involves making everybody equal, creating equality the way they see equality, which means giving up your personal sovereignty and, sovereignty and your self-esteem and sense of self and self-respect. And even though I bash organized religion a lot, that their holy Bible, some people's interpretations of Book of Revelation, they're talking about whole countries giving up their sovereignty to accept a mark. Yeah, one of the key words in a in uh, biblical stuff because after all my uh, beliefs are a combination of Christianity and occultism but not that Aleister Crowley shit. The thing that fits a philosophy that every definition of a thing there's a backwards definition of a thing uh, and that's done by design for the erosion of country, culture, and society. And those who are into that Aleister Crowley like occult shit, which I do entire videos and I'll do more about it, the people who believe in that shit, they want 
they they want they deliberately want the erosion and the subversion. Uh, so my beliefs kind of um, expose that. It's about picking things apart, uh, tearing apart and dissecting these things. Kind of like you want to take apart a computer or a, a device and, uh, you know, take a take apart and examine uh, uh, where are other were these special interest groups that I'm talking about that want the subversion the subversion of a culture I tear it down and take it apart and examine things which they don't want you to do they're taking apart of things is about dismantling the dismantling of somebody else's self-esteem culture that's what it's all about with these people that they want to uh, dismantle everything about you and make you follow their shit and instead of having your own self-respect and self-esteem and being proud of your biological gender and who you are they want you to follow another man around like a little bitch and uh, they want you to be not intelligent by not by your own will they want you to be one notch below them and they want to talk down to you condescendingly and uh, speaking to them at any level to understand who they are and doing it intelligently that's a definite no-no and it should be outlawed. They say it should be outlawed and criminalized. They regard it as offensive and talking back and being smart with you. And they want to stick their finger in your face and tell you what you what you better do, what you better think, and what you better not say, and everything about your life is going to be. And uh, when I bring up the public schools, that's what the public school was in the early days. And that's one of the reasons why I'm not glad. I'm glad that I'm not in the public schools the way they are now. I was like, holy shit. And once again, I say they got college professors teaching that shit. How do they, do they still have a job? Who the hell do they think they are? And they're even making entire courses dedicated to that stuff. And while I'm at it, if you got this far in this video, that's another thing. That's another thing, too call it public school is about reading writing and arithmetic should to be able to read to comprehend what you read to know how to count so that when you get in life nobody can now uh, you put a pay something with a twenty dollar bill that they don't cheat you out of something when you buy something for two or three dollars you don't get cheated out of uh some of them you know what i mean then when you go over to college it's supposed to be to get the qualifications and certificate for whatever you want to be. A doctor, a lawyer, a, an airplane mechanic, or a welder, whatever you want to do uh, to get qualifications for that. And, and you really don't rather not go into debt doing so. But that's what it should be about, getting a career and being able to qualify for a particular occupation. Since when in the fuck is it ever college professors getting into politics and gender studies and gender politics telling you what the fuck to do? And then when did that also become a course that you can get a course in this shit? I thought back in the day when you went to college... It was about to qualify for a career you decide to pursue. Well, now I guess you can get a career in being part of the subversion of a, of your country and a sub and subversion of somebody else's culture and the subversion of somebody else's self esteem and self respect and everything about else about person. And uh, that kind of uh, narcissistic and sociopathic bullshit. I mean, yeah, professor, you know, 
a, a, a professor, somebody with a college degree and a certificate, gets the license to rewrite the textbooks just because he, because he or she has a certificate and gets to literally uh, change all the rules just because they has, have a certificate. That is disturbing and dangerous. Uh, so anyway, yeah, in ending this video, yeah, that shit is disturbing and dangerous. That just because somebody has a certificate and a degree, they can rewrite the textbooks and rewrite and literally rewrite the rules of, of normalcy. Make right, wrong, good, bad. Uh, make the insane sane and make the sane insane. And that is completely insane.